walked in for the first time. Oh my God, Paul, they got a sim. Ford, Ford and uh, next to Toyota. We're gonna walk around and kind of see everything. This is all for the BTS today because tomorrow we are gonna go and do, can I buy the sim? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go to RWB first, see Shy Town Exotics, and then we'll walk around the show and then I'll start filming. Right now it's all BTS stuff, so. I don't know if I would pay $500,000 for it, but it's pretty good. <laughs> That's the one I told you about when we walked past it. So oh, fast. It was okay. It stationary facing straight this way. I see. And I'm like, I saw the wind yeah. and I'm like, what is that? It's, it's wide. Cool. Isn't it so cool? It's so cool that it's empty. Yeah. I love media day. I only want to go on media day. <laughs> I don't want to go any other time. Okay, yeah, so this is where we load, loaded Nora at. Okay. Right here behind Nissan. Okay. Um, but they didn't have the Z. Oh, look at the color on that one. The Z. What is that? <laughs> oh, the Moto Compactos! <laughs> we gotta do that, Paul. We have to. Uh, yeah. Make the pass. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got him! <laughs> I was wrong. RWB has been in a show before, and it was at DC. But as far as we know, it's only happened one time ever. Chicago's Auto Show is the biggest auto show in the nation. So the fact that it's here is pretty crazy. Wow, look at the placard. RWB Chicago and Nora, what is the significance? This is Nikai's personal car. What does that mean? Where did it come from? So in 2017, this car was built with his other USA car, which were both 993 cabs. And one was called Carolina. And then the other, this one was called Nora. And this car was seen really heavily driving the last time that RWB ever had a cruise from LA to Vegas for SEMA in 2017. And this is when that car was built and born. Nikai built this for himself so that he can have a car here in the United States. And this car is currently under the care of EJ. As you know, if you've never seen this channel, my name is DJ. I'm with Pinoy Porsche Club, RWB Chicago, and my own team, King. Feel free to take a look at other videos because we have a ton of really cool stuff around it. We've done a lot with this car over the last couple of years and we continue to do so. Having this car here is so, so significant. Oh, it's just it's just really cool to see the history behind it. It is a Porsche 993 911. It's a Cabriolet version. Giving us a little bit of tour about this lip. So this is Nakai's ingenuity, if you will. You can kind of see that this lip scrapes because it's so low on the ground but the funny and cool part is that this lip actually lifts so when this when it's going to scrape it actually this uh, will lift up so that it doesn't the wheels i believe in the rear are 13 and a half wide so super super huge and then the back end wing here is of course interchangeable. You have the current whale tail on. It has a duck wing available. I know that there's some really cool stuff happening with that. In terms of the engine and stuff like that, what's done to it is legally not allowed to be talked about. That's all I'm gonna say. RWB seats, which are really, really nice. And then of course the wheel, rough world wheel. It's one of those things where you can't really explain how wide the car is. It's okay, my hand, I'm a small Asian boy, but look at my, my hand is this small. One, two, three, at least. Like I said, 13 and a half wide, so it's, it's huge. Our primary purpose here is to be with RWB, and so we're kind of watching over and giving people the history lesson. I actually just gave a history lesson a couple minutes ago before rolling on camera about what this car is and how it's so significant and why. The most significant thing to me and the most honorable moment is sharing Nikai's adventures because this is really really crazy to have Nikai's work here and it's so so big for RWB as well it's actually such a big deal for RWB to make its debut here with Nikai's personal car is insane so there's a lot of really cool details on this car like I said if you haven't seen this car this is probably the most in-depth that I've actually talked about it on this channel but we've done some a lot of other things and another bucket list another thing to add to Nora's adventures this has to go back to Nikai. We have to bring that back and give it to him. So that'll be cool.
Alright, so we're walking around all the Shaitan Exotic stuff. I'm not really too sure what this is besides the fact that it's a Liberty Walk 720. Really cool. I don't know the history behind it or anything like that, so uh, maybe we'll get to see this in a little bit. But I am such a big fan of Liberty Walk and all their cars, so I'm really excited to uh, see what this is. There's a signature in there. Hmm. Um, this was the Radical, which you guys saw yesterday as well. I don't know much about it either, besides the fact that it's uh, a pure race car. A Volvo P1800. Wow, look at these wheels. What is happening here? That's awesome to actually see that, because you don't really see that ever. What do we have here? We have the Lambo. This is seen everywhere. Dimitris' car, he is literally seen all over the city of Chicago, everywhere. Zoka Media Car, I saw them roll in yesterday. It's a beautiful rig. Stabilization arm, it's got the actual gimbal on there, which is carbon now that I'm seeing it. 70 to 200, 1.4, wow, that's nice. Cal's car, uh, we've seen this car actually multiple, multiple times. It's caged, I didn't even realize, you can see it in there, but it still looks like stock interior relatively, uh, which is cool, so then you can actually still drive it normally. HPD. Honda. Wow, the paint is really cool. Look at that. The paint is different. It's actually really neat to see it, but Larry Chan had a really cool video on this and how it's actually, it's a hybrid. As far as I understand from Larry, he said that it was built by the team because they wanted to like test hybrid race technology. It's all batteries in the back and then obviously the motor. So, oh my gosh, that's cool. I just realized, look at all the tracks. All the tracks are on there. Ohio, Indy 5, Long Beach. Wow, that's actually such a cool detail. Oh my gosh, look at everything. Oh my God, they have the Alaris pump. Only I will understand what this is, but that's <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Put your finger on it. You're the only one that gets that. Right. Wow, that's... This is actually so cool. All right, let's sign up. Let's do it. Awesome. He's ready for you, okay? Oh man. Crash course. And then it's just like a regular motorcycle, huh? So the right thumb is going to be your accelerator. Oh, okay. Left hand is going to be your brake. And you also got a little bell there in case you need it. Hell yeah. A little bell. Okay. go around the corner. What was that? No clutch. No clutch. Dick, dude. I can't knee down. <laughs> oh no, I have someone standing in front of my camera the whole time. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. So it's uh, it's like $1,000 and I definitely want one. It's actually really easy to control. I'm surprised. And you have a decent turn radius, especially if you know like how to ride a motorcycle. The turn radius is okay. I don't know how fast it goes, but it's at nine. I love the bell. <laughs> the bell is so funny. Like it's actually really nimble. I'm trying to actually take corners. Dude, that's so cool, man. Thank you for letting us ride these. These are so sick. Yeah, what, do you, what would you rather have? Oh, I would kind of rather have that. I'm kind of feeling this thing. I just I work 10 miles from home. Very easy to uh, to operate, and then I mean it's like they say it's 50 pounds. It doesn't feel like it, but that's awesome. That's so cool. I can't handle the conference personally. I just cleaned my fridge this morning. Yeah. So this is my first look at the Cybertruck. I've never seen it in my life before. It's uh, fascinating. It does look like a fridge, they're kind of right. Marquez's video, he goes really in depth on it, so I'm not gonna be talking about anything in depth. I'm just kind of looking at it because it's very interesting. I'm gonna open this. Oh. Bumping my ISO like crazy so I can see inside. Whoa, it's very Tesla-y, very cool. 
has a little truck yeah. logo. This, this is kind of, it's kind of nice. You know how like the Scion's dash is 10 years long? It's way, it look, it's like a table. It's literally the size of my desk at home. Like it's so far away. It's kind of big, hop in. All right. Oh my God, someone really set it to go to their house. Crazy. What do you think? I'm like sitting in a computer. It is a computer, you're right. The screen is responsive. Oh, and the trunk just closed and you can see it close. How do I open it? Like okay, I'm gonna push cool it. Yeah. Open. I opened it. <laughs> it's very, it's very Tesla. It's very Tesla. I don't think we're lifting. <gasps> we are lifting. I'm airing out. Oh, I felt it. I did too, at the very end there. We just aired out. It's interesting. Okay. The, t the lack of tunnel is kind of interesting too. It's not bad. Oh my gosh, I know exactly what you're thinking. Yeah, this would be, uh... Could you imagine doing rollers in this? It'd be nuts. And then you just have like someone standing on here. You'd be chilling. I like the light though, actually. It's kind of cool. the light bar inside? Yeah, the light bar inside is nice, actually. If Juan was here, he'd mention the panel gaps, so I'm gonna mention it for him. It's not bad. It's really not bad. The more you know. Would I ever get one? I don't know. I would never say no. Now, the one car I don't know too much about, really at all, is this thing. I don't really know too much about it. I know it's full electric. Maybe I can learn more about this thing because, like I said, I don't, I don't really know too much. Um, first impressions, it's big screens kind of everywhere. It's like an iPad there. Themes, whoa. Space theme, charging, 78%. Interesting. Seats, cushion, lumbar support, thigh support. Thick thighs. That's how you know I don't have fancy cars, so. Anyway, time to get out. This is the new electric bus. We could do rollouts out of this thing, man. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. Multiple doors open. Well, duh. I don't know too much about the bus. I feel like I don't know too much about much. It's really cool, it's got a lot of functionality. Oh my God, I keep forgetting because the electric, the trans tunnel is missing. So. That's pretty cool. And then you can put your phone and stuff right there. Oh my gosh, there's a bottle cap opener. Hell yeah. There's literally a bottle cap opener. Well, because, you know, Volkswagen. The pedals are really pause and play. Tiffany's car reviews. Wow. Wow, getting in is really convenient and easy because this opens up so much. Roller heaven, baby. Look at that. Yeah. That's so I wonder how much weight it can take. You could take the seats out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you could sit on that. Oh yeah, for sure. I like how the lights are here, like it beams straight down. That's pretty nice. Backup camera. Roller camera. It's pretty cool, the Nismo one. I think the interior looks relatively the same, except it's leather and the red stitching. I'm opening everything. It's a decent amount of trunk space, actually. I didn't realize it was like red here. I was looking down. It's pretty. The Nismo front end looks pretty good too. I actually like it a lot. Damn, look at the wing. That's so cool. Oh, it's active. Active arrow wing too. 
I still hate the tail light. It still looks like someone stepped on it. You're right. Wow, it is kind of, it's wide. I like it a lot. The venting down there too. I'm not even gonna lie, it's cool. Yeah, that is cool. What I do a half wide, million? Wide Don't know. So we did come kind of late, but we got to see the rest of like the really cool things that we want to see. For me, this is a really full circle moment to even be in this position where we can like be at the auto show and I've been coming here for years and years and years and never did I think I would be in this spot to be helping out with an exhibit and like documenting a car and documenting like its journey here. It blows my mind. So thank you guys for watching. We're going to be coming back probably to go do a couple more things and kind of do some more interviews and stuff like that. So I'm excited to do that. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have stayed to the end, please subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the other side. It's TIFF review time. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs>